Okay, so today's, uh, I'm waking up, I'm gonna, you see a bunch of logs back there, I'm gonna spend some time splitting some logs, and, uh, yeah, and then we're gonna go to a neighbor's having, like, a pig roast or something tonight, I forget what she said, so we'll have some cool dinner and meet some neighbors, but, yep, that's the plan for today, probably a lot of chicken coop tomorrow and stuff. Creepy. All right, Shwoey. It's water. I know. It's water. Put your paw on it. Get in. Come on, baby girl. You see it's water. It's water. Go in. Go in. Go in, baby. Yes, yes, yes. You love it. Yes. Yes, you're so cool. Isn't it fun? You never had your own pool. Go in, tap baby. Yes, you baby. I know it's not like the river. I know it's not like the river. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yes. Yo, 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 baby. Come on, Betsy. Give it a shot. Pussy. Okay. So this is the Yard Max. I forget the model number. But, uh,. It's a 28 ton full beam. There was a half beam and a full beam. It was like a hundred, I think it was like a hundred dollar difference. But uh, I just kept reading, you know, full beams better, blah, 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 it's stronger. Um, I got this cause a lot of people were telling me to get at least 20 ton. This thing was at Costco. This thing, full price, Costco had better ratings, more power and all this shit and more features and functions than something on sale at like tractor supply or home depot or whatever and uh so i went with this thing because it just it was it was cheaper but better um yeah the big feature which i hope i don't crush any of the dogs doing pull this tab and yeah heek heek Yeah. Don't do that. I might have to hit that with a hammer to loosen it up again. I may have just seized up a bit. So you pull that tab, you cocksucker. Hick it. Really? Why are you so stuck? All right, fuck it. I'll just pick them up. So, what you gotta do? Turn that on. Open the fuel. Put the choke on. Open the throttle. Watch out. You're dumb.
I just had to stop for a minute and uh, get out of here, Jack. Look at the size of this slug. Oh, well, he shrunk up a lot. Dude, he was the length of my finger a couple seconds ago. All right, guys, get away. I'm gonna move a lot of this pile over to that pile. I know that's a lot of stupid wasted energy, but I have some whole logs mixed in here. So I figure I'll take a bunch of all this because right now I've got one, two, three, four piles of wood and then like shit scattered everywhere. I'd like to consolidate it. So I'm trying to figure out where to put everything. I don't really know. That pile over there is pretty big. That one's pretty hefty. This guy's manageable, so I think I might just have three separate piles and just make this the main spot to kind of open up here. And uh, I have a whole bunch of pretty decent sized logs laying around just through the walkway. So I want to uh, kind of move them to clear up space. So hopefully this will all clear up. I might eventually move that pile to this new one, but we'll see. I'm gonna stop for a while. It's uh, really hot out and uh, my five gallon gas tank is done and I really wanted to mow the lawn today. There, it, it badly needs it, not just around here, but just the general lawn and the outside. And my favorite lawn is the one out on the other side of the driveway. So I gotta go get some gas. I'm gonna rearrange the uh, vehicles on the driveway because I don't like certain vehicles in shot. So I gotta hide that thing. But uh, yeah, cool, all right, see you at the gas station. So in life, many things can happen. I think it's important to teach your dogs how to react around you when you're doing stuff like mowing the lawn. And no, no dog got hurt. So uh, I was mowing the lawn and we have a puppy, Betsy Ross. Say hi, Betsy. <laughs> oh God, so fucking cute. Um, so while I was mowing, paying attention to her, I neglected to notice a eight by six tarp in the uh, yard that I was, I pushed to the side while I was mowing, but when I, oh, wow, I gotta clean this thing. I pushed to the side while I was mowing, but then uh, forgot to double check while I was watching the dog. So now I get to figure out how to clean a uh, tarp out of, a John Deere. I know, but I know, Shwawi, I fucked up. And it's all your fault, Betsy. It's all your fault. Not your fault. Ow, what the fuck just bit me? Ah, oh, nothing. Okay, well, anyway, so, <sighs> we'll be back. All right, I'm gonna try to lift the mower and put it up on a log so I can get under there better. <laughs> That seems legit, right? All right, so I haven't done this since the wedding, but I just took the whole fucking deck off so it's like two uh two pins with springy bolt thingies and connect somewhere up there and then that middle thing hooks to a thing and then shit comes out so it turns out there's paracord in the uh thing as well so that's gonna be fun i gotta sharpen these blades and i've been running over lots of shit i got a fucking just tie down fucking thing. So I'm just gonna take these blades off and sharpen them and clean them and shit. <laughs> so I can I cleaned all the ropes off, all the shit out, but I cannot get discs off. Do not chew an electrical cord. So like any sane person would do, I got a disc grinder. So, disc grinder, angle grinder, I'm tired. So it's a flap 
grinder disc thingy 120 grit i was going to use an angle grind or a grinding stone wheel grinding wheel but i feel like <laughs> dog size blender i feel like i want to be a little softer on it all, not all metals are the same so lawnmower steel is from what i understand it's made to be hard but very bendable because it's going to hit a lot of shit and and whatnot so like certain things like like a razor you need a very i'll say brittle steel so that you can get an incredibly fine edge on it whereas lawnmower blades are made to spin and you don't want them snapping and breaking while you hit stuff so they're they're a little soft so i guess the rockwell scale is probably lower like high 40s low 50s i don't know i'm, I'm making this up from the little bit of knowledge i've learned over you know blacksmithing and shit so i'm just gonna try to grind a slightly better edge i'm gonna hold it upside down and try to get the edges a little better so yeah we'll see how that goes how to put this back together first thing you'll notice is we have two hooks here and this flappy boy here so i'm gonna try and get a good angle that might be a good angle right there so you're gonna slide this son of a bitch back in here and then you gotta get this flappy boy onto those two hooks okay now that that's on uh god it's been a while put can you see that i don't know if you saw that this belt and they're just all still connected put him up on there now we have those pins so i've got the pin, the little, I can't remember the fucking names for these things. You got like a pin, and then you got the little musical note thing that keeps it on. It's going to end up going in here and through here. So, this is kind of a bitch. But we're going to lift this guy. Why is this harder than I remember? Oh, you know what? If I lower the tractor now, uh, it'll actually be easier. Okay, Chloe. You sassy little bitch. Okay. Now, we just got, ow, motherfucker. Oh, that. Oh. That's cool. I just slipped my hand and got a good chunk of skin out. That's cool. Whatever. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, that feels really good. Why are you not lined up? There we go. How do you go in? You go in like that. No, 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 stand there. Oh, fuck me. You know, we just gotta get this guy lined up. It would have helped to have had the pins 
in my hand. That one went easy. God damn. Hey. Right. Now, uh, there's like a. Oh, I got so much dirt in it. I dropped a spring somewhere. Did you guys take my spring? Come on, y'all. Where's Betsy? That little bitch took it. Where'd you do with it? Dude, I need that spring. Come on. I know you took it. Yeah. Yeah, go back. If I don't say anything, you'll go back to where you had it. All right, you've been digging here. Dude, where'd you put it? Come on, man. This is crazy. I'm looking around under my tractor for the spring. There's a freaking... Oh, he just jumped. There's a toad just hiding. This whole time, there was a toad just hiding down there. Fucking hanging out and shit, eating ants this whole time. Still have not found the spring. It's been like 10 minutes. I found the spring. Fuck. I did not think today was going to be so eventful. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to split some wood and stuff. Now I just got to remember how the spring works. Get the fuck out of here, little girl. All right, so I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure so there's like a loopy part and then an angle part I'm pretty sure I remember the angle part goes in here and then the loopy part oh, I don't know if I can do this one hand hooks onto this thing Oh, your tennis ball. Ugh. Fuck. Okay. Oh. There we go. Okay. I will skin you alive. Dumbass. Alright, we can finally finish mowing the lawn. <laughs>